Hey, yeah, David Glenda, absolutely a major milestone here, as you mentioned, and also a big deal tonight. One of the most powerful men in American politics presided over this dinner. Eric Holder, the U.S. attorney, was the keynote speaker. For the 57th year, an epic crowd turns out for the annual NAACP Freedom Fund Dinner. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder was the keynote speaker. He told the thousands who filled Cobo that Detroit's NAACP chapter holds a special place in history. Since 1912, when the Detroit branch received its charter, there is really no question that this community has been at the center of these historic efforts. When housing discrimination rocked the state of Michigan, it was the NAACP that stepped up and provided the funding to take this struggle to the court system. As the Attorney General said, this is the 100th anniversary of the Detroit chapter of the NAACP. The chapter president says Detroit has made unparalleled contributions. Nowhere in America has a branch of the NAACP marshaled a record of activity and engagement from Detroit to East Africa. The night was one of Mayor Bing's first back in the spotlight after nine days in the hospital. This evening he spoke candidly about his condition. For a second it even looked like the mayor got choked up. A few weeks ago I wasn't sure uh, where I was going to be today. Contrary to doing or attempting to do the right thing from a health standpoint, I went in for my five-year colonoscopy and found myself in the hospital uh, with a hole in my colon. Organizers tell me tonight that they did reach some of their fundraising goals. In fact, they were already ahead of their forecast before the dinner even started. Reporting live downtown, I'm Tom Wade, 7 Action News.